Hello, this is Virgie Watson, and I am the receptionist here at Person County Senior Center, and I am going to show you how to make a hat out of a loom. So the first thing we're gonna do is, I'm gonna show you how you start the loom. I always like to take two skeins of yarn because it makes a thicker hat. You can use one skein, but it doesn't, the hat's not as thick. So we are going to use two, two skeins, and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a slip knot. And we're gonna put it on this little tab right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna tighten it. And then we're gonna take the two skeins of yarn and we're gonna go behind the, the, uh, the peg and we're gonna go all around it, all the way around. It's a repetition same thing over and over and you just keep going around and I always hang on to it so that way it doesn't come loose because it will come loose real fast so you just keep going around and around until we get to the, the start point and when we get to the start point we are going to go around again So we're at the start point. So we'll always put this down below so it doesn't get tangled up in what you're do what you're working with. So we go around again. So we have two two things of yarn on, and then I will show you what how we're gonna how do we're gonna make a hat. And actually, this is knitting. We are knitting, but this is the easy way of knitting because I'm not a knitter. But this way, this one I can do it this way. I've made so many hats. I make them for the Vermont Mission Team, um, people here at the Senior Center, um, bingo prizes. They like they like all kinds of bingo prizes here. Um, so we go around, and then when we get to the starting point, I always take my yarn and I bring it over the, the little peg and I hang on to it. And then I take my hook. This is what the hook looks like that you, you, will, you will be using. And then I take it and I grab it. There's little, like little grooves in the, in, the, in the peg. And you grab a hold of it and you bring it up and over and down. That locks it in place so it doesn't go anywhere. Else. Then you go all, you do that all the way around, up and over. Grab a hold of it up and over, and I always push down. Just a habit I've gotten into that way, the yarn is not up towards the top. So you just grab a hold of it, and you keep going all the way around. Make sure you just get the two, the two bottom ones. You don't want to grab all four. So you just grab it and up. Oops minute up and over so up and over you do this all the time it's a repetition all the way around until your hat starts growing and then if you want to put a brim on it which I'll show you here in a minute usually when you get about 16 rows on that's when I do put the brim on and I like the brim because if you don't put a brim on, then the, the end of the, the edge of the hat will curl up on you. Now baby hats, usually you don't, if you make a baby hat, you usually do not put a brim on it. Now this, this loom right here, the blue one, um, is for like a child. The orange loom like that is for an adult. And you can buy these at Walmart. The, the box is, is, is yellow and it comes with four different kinds of looms and it's $24.99. So you can get that at, at Walmart. So you can make all, all sizes of hats. So that's, that's the beginning. So now I'm gonna show you this hat. This is what it looks like when it grows. And this one here has a brim on it. And this is what the brim is. What you do is when you have like 
16 rows and each one of these are a row. So when you get 16 of them, you bring them back up and you hook it. And then you, then you up and over like I just showed you and that makes the brim. And then you just continue. So this hat here is just about done. Um, this here is a paper that I have. If you would like one, just come in and see me. It show, tells you on the back how to make the brim. It also tells you if you do a doll, a preemie, a newborn, a baby, a toddler, teens and te tweens and teens, women's and lean men, lean men, <laughs> large women and men. And it tells you how many pegs on each one and uh, what color, like this one here, this is the orange one. That's for, you can use, go seven inches, you can make a, a toddler's hat. That says eight inches for, and eight to nine inches for a woman. And nine to 10 inches for a man. So this right here, if you, if you would like one of these, just come in and see me and I will get you one. So now I'm going to show you how to take off. And, and that, you go like this, you take your yarn and you go all the way around. Till you get to the point where you started and then you take your scissors you have to have a pair of scissors on you and you cut that off put that off to the side and now you take your darning needle and you get the arm through and I have a hard time getting it through the hole. So I have this little nifty thing that Peggy showed me. And you put it through here, put your yarn in there, and voila, you spread your needle. And also I have my nifty measuring tapes so that way you can measure your hat to see if it's the right length that you want. And I always go from the inside of here and I hold it to the end. So this is a nine inch hat. So this would be for like a, a woman or a man. So now we take our needle and we go in the groove. We take our needle and we go in the groove. And we pull our yarn through. And then we take the yarn and we and we go up and over. Sometimes you need to use your hook on this on the first one. So you take your yarn and you go up and over and that takes it off the, off the peg. And you do this all the way around. Up and over. And you think, oh, this doesn't look right, you know, because you're taking it off the peg and it kind of looks kind of silly. Well, and once you get them all off, then I'm gonna gather it at the top. And it was, this is the finished product. So this is what it's gonna look like. And I put a little fuzzy thing on. I got these at Amazon. You can get them at Amazon. And I used, um, Two different colors on this hat and the reason why I use different you can do whatever you want but the reason why I use two different colors on this hat is because I ran out of the red so I just added the black to it and I think it turned out pretty good but you can I've made a striped hat because my granddaughter wanted a striped hat so I made her a, a striped hat And they're fast. They're they're fast to make. I do this at night when I'm watching TV. Keeps me keeps my hands busy. And I can hear the TV and then I'll look up at the TV. But 
if y'all get a chance, come to the Senior Center. I've been having a class like once a month and I'll be glad to show you how to do this or, or show you if you're having problems, just come on in and I'll help you. But if you haven't come to the Senior Center, come on. I mean, it's fun. It's, it, we have all kinds of activities. We have bingo on Fridays. We have fitness classes. Our gym is an awesome gym. I mean, it's, if you, you gotta stay active. You really do. To stay young and healthy, um, you gotta come and, and um, socialize with people. That, that's the whole thing right there, is to get out and, and meet people and socialize. And what better place is there but than the Senior Center? And the staff here is awesome. We have a great staff. So I'm just about done taking this off. As you can see, it's starting to come apart. But you put your put your hook in, your needle through, up and over, all the way around. Needle in, pull the yarn through, up and over. And if you like my video, press like. <laughs> so up and over. Almost, almost there. Actually, this is the easiest part when you do it, when you take it off. We also have arts and crafts here. Alex, leads, Alex is our activity coordinator. We have activity calendars that tells you all the activities that are going on and it also tells you our hours and our phone number so you can plug into the senior center. We do Meals on Wheels here. We deliver to the, the, uh, the uh, our clients, the, the older clients and um, we also have meals here and the food is delivered, uh, Golden Corral delivers our food. We also do taxes on Tuesdays, once a month, we have, or once a week, until April 11th, we have taxes. We have uh, AERP comes in and we have like four or five ladies that come in and prepare your taxes for you. So the Senior Center is all kinds, we have all kinds of things for you to do. Okay, so I've got it off, so you set that to the side and you turn it inside out. So now it's the wrong side and I take my thread and I pull it tight. Pull it tight. Now I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to go around the hole. This holds it tight and closes that hole at the top. So I'm going to go all the way around the hole and then I'm gonna pull it tighter. And then I'm gonna go to do like a crisscross over the hole. Once and then twice. And then I'm gonna put like a little knot to secure it so it will not come undone. Pull everything tight. Take your scissors and cut it. And there you go. Your hat is done. And if you want to add a little top to it, it's got a little little uh, rubber band in here. You have to find it. There's a little rubber band in here, there it is. And all you do is you take your, your thread and you just hook it to the very top. So you can use that, that one, or they, we have brown, you can use brown.
So I think the different colored one kind of looks kind of cute. So this is how you make a hat to the very beginning to the very end. Hope you enjoyed my video.